FPS low poly video game inside of Unity. And we're going to try and add some very simple AI walking around in here. So I've downloaded this asset from the asset store and uh, you can find it and you can find it in here. It's called low poly brick houses. And I also added a low poly fantasy warrior as our model. And the very first thing that we are going to do is we're going to add something called a nav mesh agent. So our agent knows where to walk around into our city. So to do that is actually very, very simple. What you have to do is go into window AI navigation. So what this will do is bring up this new tab. And all we're going to have to do in here is go ahead and bake. But before bake, we're going to make sure that our ground is marked as a static object so everywhere you want to be walkable basically you're going to have to add in this static marker so after you do that just go into navigation and hit bake and this is how our scene looks like right now so everywhere you see a blue selection wire uh, that means that terrain is walkable so now all we have to do is bring in our AI and tell it to do some stuff through scripting. So if you're using the same asset that I'm using, you're going to have a low poly fantasy warrior as a asset into your project. So go into that, open up the prefab and just drag and drop our low poly warrior. So now we're going to do a very quick test and we're going to hit play and see if this animation is working. So as we can see, the animation is working and uh, he just changed the pose. So now what we're going to do is add in some components into this low poly warrior. So the very first thing that we're going to do is add in a nav mesh agent. This is what a nav mesh agent looks like. So it basically draws in a cylinder and that is where our bounds are. After we do that, we're going to create a new folder, call it scripts. And then after we do that, we're going to create a script called AI controller. After you create your AI controller script, you're going to drag this and drop it inside the low poly warrior. So now this has a controller script inside the script. Uh, when you're going to need in here is a reference of this nav mesh agent. So the simplest way of doing that is calling public nav mesh agent. And as we can see, we don't have it right here. So nav mesh agent is actually a library we have to import. So up here, just say using unity dot AI. So now that we have the AI, we can call nav mesh agent and we can just call it like agent. So now we have a reference of that nav mesh agent. And if we save that back into Unity, we're going to see a new slot in here called agent and it says none right here. So all we have to do right now is drag the nav mesh agent and drop it in there. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do a different method called start. And into the start, we're going to say agent is equal to get component nav mesh agent. So what this does is basically it gets this nav mesh agent automatically when we hit play. So since we do that, we don't need this public right here. We can just call it nav mesh agent and it will not appear over into our inspector. So after we have that, what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to do a update method and we're going to check if we're pressing a key. So if input dot get key down key code dot, for example, let's call tab. And if we press tab, we want to tell this agent to walk into a specific position. So for the position, we are going to do a public transform position or maybe let's call it target. So we want to tell this agent to go over to the target. So in order to do that, we are going to have to say agent dot set destination. So this is where you pass in a vector three. And since we have a transform, we can say target dot position. So there we go. Now we've set the destination of 
our agent. What we can do now is just save, go back into Unity, and let's create a new transform in here. So this is a empty game object and it has a transform, which is exactly what we need. And let's move this transform somewhere in here. Let's also color code it so we can see it. And for the last thing that let's just drag this and drop it into our target. Okay, so now if I hit tab, we should see our AI going into the target, which is just what we need. So let's now try to move the target somewhere in here and hit tab. We're going to see the AI moves into that target. We obviously don't have the walking mechanism, which we should add maybe later or in the next video. And now let's test if this AI can walk around this house or it just goes straight through. So let's move the target outside in here and let's hit tab. We're going to see the AI goes around. And that's because we've defined the walking path 